there, Alina from XM8 Mastery here with a super special, exciting announcement. Xactua Online can now import macros and note templates. So I've been struggling with this for a while. I know the ESX files that got fixed recently where we can import the ESX files into the online version, but we were having trouble getting those macros up into the online version. I'm not sure when this was released, but I'm gonna show you today how you can go ahead and send out the macros and import them in the online version of X1. So this isn't the same as the desktop version because there's a data transfer option available on the desktop version already, but this is for the online version. This is the workaround that I found to get those macros and note templates uploaded into the cloud. So let me show you how to do this. Let's go take a look. So to perform the macro import or export, you're going to want to be in an estimate in the online version of X1. Again, this does not apply to the desktop version. It's if you're logging into exactmate.com, then you'll need to open up any random estimate uh, or start a new dummy one called macros. That's fine. If you don't want to mess with anything, you know, in your live estimates, I play around in dummy estimates all the time. So then you're going to want to go to estimate items. So it'll ask you to attach a price list. Usually you want to go ahead and do that and then go over to estimate items right away. You don't have to enter any of the other info. And we're going to go to the macros tab here in the estimate items screen. It usually defaults to the search, the reference search here, where you want to click on macros. Once you get to this screen here, we're going to go to the right where it says options. We're going to drop down the list and go to data transfer. So this is where you can send it from your desktop to ExactMate. And then I think vice versa, where it was going um, out to the desktop, you can do that here as well. So if I select a macro and go to options, data transfer, then it says from ExactMate to the local folder. So if you're wanting to export something, this is how you would do it from ExactMate to the desktop. And then um, if you have just the no macro selected. So if you're frustrated, you're like, why can't I get the import going? It's probably because you've got a macro selected. So go back up to the top and click in this blank line here. If you want to import a macro, that's how you do that. So we go to options, data transfer, and again, it gets kind of stuck on the, uh, that it still has a macro selected right here. So it gets a little obnoxious. Go ahead and try to force it to not select. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some spaces here. <laughs> let's see if that'll let me do it. Send, let's see, data transfer. Yeah, there we go. If you have that trouble, did you see what I did there? So I had something selected on the list. If it's something is selected, it will not let you bring in. It wants to send out right? So if you have something selected on the list, uh, go ahead and go to the search up here and type in just random words. That'll clear that so no macro is selected. So to bring in that macro, what we're going to do is go to options, data transfer again, point it to where the macros are located. So from the desktop, uh, perhaps you have a list of macros you want to import, and then we can go to select items, and there we go. I can select the one on the list. If you have multiple, you can control A on your keyboard and that'll select all of them. Uh, if you're pulling in note templates, they may be listed here as well. And you wanna select all your note templates and then just click import and that'll bring that in. Now this already exists because I had just exported one that was on this list. So you won't get this screen, but I can go ahead and continue to import that. And it actually closes the project when you do that. I haven't had it yet where the project stayed open. So it will close the project in my experience. So I will have to go back in there and open up the project again and go back to the macros. And then you can see here, I have imported that macro that I just saw. So that's, if you wanna export, highlight it and go to options. If you want to import something, clear that curse, just type in some letters there, and then you'll have that option to data transfer in rather than out. So that is how you import and export macros and note templates, other fun things in Xactimate version X1 online. Again, it wouldn't work for the desktop version because you have a data transfer on your dashboard in X1. So I have a video on how to import export for the desktop version of X1. Go ahead and search here on this channel and you'll find that. So if you found that information useful, please like and subscribe. It is like gold over here on YouTube when y'all do that for me. So I appreciate you always every week supporting me in that manner. For more information on the Xactimate training that we offer for contractors, be sure to go to xmatemastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next Tuesday.